Can custom RGB backplates, such as this one right here, hurt your system's GPU thermals? Well, we'll be looking at that today. Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech5. Today we're gonna to be trying to answer the question of whether or not these RGB backplates are negatively affecting the thermals of your GPU. Now I did a video not too long ago showing off my backplate that I had gotten from V1 Tech, as well as some of the other products that they had to offer. And I had a subscriber that was actually interested in going forward and purchasing one of these backplates from V1 Tech. And they had asked me the question of whether or not this had made my temperatures go up. Well. I wasn't exactly sure, so we decided to go ahead and find out for him and then went ahead and gave the idea to go ahead and make this piece of content. So today we're going to be doing some testing and showing you guys of whether or not these RGB backplates will make your temps go up on your GPU. So we're going to do that, we're going to do some tests, run some tests, so let's get into it now. <laughs> Alright guys, so apparently you cannot measure the VRAM temps on your GPU unless you have a probe installed to your GPU or you have an EVGA card. And guys, in our system we don't have an EVGA card, we've got a Strix 3080, so we can't look at the VRAM temperatures. So what we're going to do is measure the regular temperatures on our GPU with the backplate on and off and then we're going to go to my wife's PC because that is where my old EVGA card is put our EVGA backplate on that card and take it off and on and measure the VRAM temps and see what we got I told you guys we're going to do this, we're going to do it we're going to do it right, we're going to get your answer okay, I got you here at Tech Vibe, we got you I got you so let's check it out Okay, so real quick, appeasing the trolls of the internet real fast. Uh, backplate's on, two different monitoring systems going on right now, and Cyberpunk, max settings, high everything. So we got it stressed as much as we possibly can right now. And it's in overclock mode. So let's uh, jump in. Okay, we got the back plate off this time. Let's, uh, let's see what we got.
All right, so that test is done. Got the back blade for the 2080 Ti. Let's go downstairs, check out these temps. Oh look, there's my beautiful wife in bed napping. She's a napper. Okay, back plate here. Wife's PC, 2080 Ti. Got her measurement tools. see what we got here so let's get this back plate installed and see what we're running okay so here we are on my wife's PC got Assassin's Creed Valhalla going we have our monitor stuff showing and we can see the back plate is on the PC right now so we're gonna show you guys we're playing in ultra settings on this here at 1440p ultra settings and we're gonna run around here and show you these temps I mean I've had this running for a little bit and you can see that VRAM temps really aren't too far off from the overall GPU temperatures The highest one that we have is at 77, and our overall GPU die is at 66 Celsius. So we're going to go ahead and take off the back plate, and then we're going to see how much the temperatures change. Okay, back plate is off this time. Same stuff, same game, same settings. As you can see, the back plate is not on, and we got the temperatures rolling here. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, still 1440p, still high settings. So, go ahead, run around here, and you can see the temps are actually showing higher. With the back plate off, about one degree Celsius change with the back plate off running at 67 instead of 66 that we were before but the VRAM is staying the same so I don't know it kind of looks like the back plate might help a little bit okay two different tests two different PCs two different GPUs and from what I can see, guys, there's not much of a difference at all with these back plates. The only time temperatures actually went up is when I actually took the back plate off. And we saw the temperatures on both GPUs go up by one degree with the back plate off. And that was on the main die of the GPU. The VRAMs didn't seem to change. So I don't think it matters. Okay guys, so there it is. I hope that this video was helpful in helping you guys make a decision if you were on the fence or not about getting one of these GPU backplates and whether or not the thermal performance of these was gonna be good enough for you to go ahead and pull the trigger. So I'm gonna continue to use mine, guys. I don't do any overclocking and I love how this thing looks. So I'm well within my reaches of thermal performance, so I'm fine with it. So you guys can make that own decision for yourself. You have all the information now. And, you know, if you're not subscribed, guys, hit subscribed. That's going to do it for the video. As always, if you do have any questions, concerns, confusions, whatever it may be, don't hesitate. Ask. I don't mind helping. I'm really trying to build something for you guys here. Hope you want to be a part of it. A simple like, share, subscribe, comment. They go so far for the channel. So far. <laughs> Just get subscribed, guys. See ya. <laughs> I just want you to hit subscribe. I just want you to hit that like button. I just want you to hit that like. I just want you to hit that like button. I just want you to hit subscribe. 
I just want you to hit that like button.